Marsha Hamill, and this is my workshop where I build stretchers and uh, gesso canvases and prepare substrates for painting, which occurs in another part of the studio. But this is a big stretcher that I selected out of my stretcher stash. And I have a lot of empty stretchers because typically when a painting is finished, I send it to, I roll, take off the stretcher, roll it up, and ship it to my agent in London. So as a result, I have a lot of stretchers. So I buy a canvas in a big roll like this. This is nice heavy duty canvas and uh, roll it out on the table here. Let me get rid of these keys. Lay the stretcher on it and using these tools, this is a canvas stretcher. You grasp hold of the canvas and you pull it and you use a, my handy dandy little, little best friend here. A staple gun. Back in the old days, we used to use carpet tacks. Oh, what a pain in the neck that was. So, anyway, um, and very quickly, stretcher is made and completed. And I like to let them sit overnight. That way, if it's going to stretch or warp or misbehave in some way, I can catch it before I put the gesso on it. And gesso, of course, is uh, basically a primer, and it's made of a powdered stony material called whiting, and in the old days it used to be rabbit skin glue, but nowadays it's latex, which is a lot easier to handle and smells better. So then the next thing I do is I, I make a thin version of the gesso and I tint it a little bit and each layer of gesso that I apply is a slightly different color so that I can see where I've missed things. I have to suit up here. I have to suit up because it goes everywhere. Ugh. Hang on, too much stuff. Um, so I'm not going to make you watch the whole process because this is a big stretcher and it'll, it would take forever. But basically, you just start applying the um, sizing material, the gesso, and I paint the sides with it as well. I don't paint my sides, some artists do, but it just is a little more uniform. And that, that's, um, that's how you uh, make a, the beginning of a masterpiece.